The Sega Dreamcast is definitely one of my favorite consoles and is home to some very memorable titles, a few that I hope to tell you about in the future. For now, I want to introduce you to the Raycast emulator specifically for RetroArch as it pulls off some pretty amazing features, so let's get started. Originally created to work on Android devices, Raycast has been a part of the LibRetro lineup for quite some time now, with some of the biggest features coming to the core last year. Raycast supports not only the Dreamcast console, but the Naomi One and Atomus Wave arcade hardware as well. In order to use all the available games for this core, you'll want to make sure that you acquire the BIOS for each piece of hardware. So let's take a look at the core in more detail. After loading the game, I'll hit the quick menu toggle so we can take a look at a few of the available options. This option allows you to take advantage of your video card's VRAM. It'll help when trying to use higher settings of the next option, internal resolution. Here you can upscale the resolution to 4K and beyond, improving the image quality of a favorite title. Leading up to 1.7.6, Raycast had two cores, one for better performance, another for better accuracy. Now the two cores have been merged together within this option. The default per triangle, as you might have guessed, is for better performance, though you will find that certain games are not accurately displaying the game's visuals as they should, resulting in some strange artifacts. The per pixel option then helps to fix this issue. OpenGL 4.3 is required to take advantage of this option. If you find the two options are putting a hurting on your hardware, there's a third option that can give you a boost, but it will have some very apparent effects on your visual. The volume modifier was an original hardware feature on the Dreamcast that helped to simulate shadows for certain games. The performance costs are said to be minimal, so it's really up to your preference. The frame rate option seems to unlock the original frame rate for certain titles and may just help with maintaining a consistent frame rate for others. This option definitely can affect performance as I believe it's CPU intensive. Originally, the core could not replicate the pressure sensitive feature of the Dreamcast analog triggers, but now it can. Initially, this option utilized left and right bumpers, giving them a 50% button pressure, while left and right triggers would have 100%. The next option is a pretty neat feature as it allows you to scale game's textures for additional detail. Using the next option below it can determine just how high you want them to be. Bear in mind that this does require a pretty high-end graphics card to take advantage of. That is as far as my knowledge goes in terms of options, but there are certainly many features that can help enhance your experience with this core. There's one more special feature that I want to talk about, and that is zero configuration online. This default feature allows you to connect with other players using in-game online modes just like they worked in the past for certain titles. Setting this up is pretty simple. You'll need to first obtain a game that allows you to set up your ISP network information. For this example, I'm using Quake 3 Arena. The only required areas are username, password, and local phone number, the latter of which doesn't even require you to put in a real number. Click Dial and just wait for the connection to configure itself. Once it is complete, you now can connect online with any compatible title moving forward. Certain games like the popular Fantasy Star Online does require some additional steps, which includes acquiring version 2 of the game. I've left a link in the description box that should help you with getting things set up. The Raycast Core is by far one of the standout emulators for RetroArch and I hope that you enjoy all the amazing games it has to offer both on and offline. For now, this is the core, your resident entertainment techie, signing out.